In 2017, I visited Cusco, Peru to learn about its history. Like most tourists who visit the city, I spent a lot of time in the Plaza de Armas, in the center of Cusco's historic downtown. Today, the plaza is ringed by a Spanish colonnade, churches, and the great Catedral de la Basilica. But before the arrival of the conquistadors in the early 1500s, this was known as the Great Inca Square. Originally much larger and surrounded by royal palaces, the square was used for Inca religious ceremonies, including the observance of cosmic phenomena like the June solstice. In this video, I'll talk about the stone pillars that may have once stood on the hills beyond the square, and how they aided the Inca priests with predicting astronomical events. You may know that the Incas were avid astronomers and that they were able to identify constellations and use them for scheduling plantings and harvestings of crops. They were also able to predict lunar events such as eclipses, solar events such as solstices, equinoxes, um, and zeniths. And they were able to do this with uh, pretty good precision. Um, so this is pretty commonly known, but something that you might not know is that one of the methods they used for doing this, at least here in Cusco, was through the use of uh, building towers on the mountains that surround the city. Um, these towers may have numbered as many as 16. Uh, today they don't exist, and I don't believe that there's any evidence of them. They were destroyed by the Spanish, and we only know about them through some of the writings during the conquest. Um, but they're believed to have existed up on the ridges all around Cusco. Many of these ridges are no longer visible because of all the, the buildings that the, the Spanish uh, engineered after uh, arriving here in Cusco. Um, but it's possible that they were built in pairs so that they would provide sort of a window um, or a range to aid in predicting the events. So during the June solstice, which was a big astronomical event, it was very celebrated. Uh, that's the shortest day of the year here in Peru. Um, during that, the, on that day, the sun might rise exactly between the two pillars. But the day before it might be closer to one and the day after it might be closer to the other. And so it just gave um, the observers a range um, for their prediction. Uh, just for fun, I brought a compass with me. And uh, the June solstice is, I think, between 62 and 65 degrees azimuth. Um, and I measured it out earlier. It would have risen, or it does rise, somewhere along, along that ridge line. So if it's true that these pillars existed, we can imagine that uh, at one time there were pillars along that distant ridge um, and that the sun would have come up exactly between them on that day. So it, it's an interesting uh, possibility. Again, um, our knowledge is based entirely off of historical accounts, so we can't say for sure whether, whether they actually existed. Um, but it's a little piece of uh, uh, Inca history that a lot of people don't know, but now you do.